Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about two amazing places in France that you will never be disappointed to visit. So journey with me whilst we embark on these amazing places together. Number one on the list is the Alabaster Coast. The Alabaster Coast is a stunning stretch of coastline in Normandy, France. The Alabaster Coast is known for its dramatic white cliffs and turquoise waters. And it's a popular spot for hiking, kayaking, and simply enjoying the views. Here are the amazing fun facts and trivia about the Alabaster Coast. 1. The Alabaster Coast is named for the white chalk cliffs that line the coastline. The chalk is made up of tiny fossilized shells. And it gives the cliffs their distinctive color. 2. The highest point on the Alabaster Coast is the Needles. A group of three chalk stacks that rise up out of the sea. The Needles are a popular tourist destination. And they've been featured in several movies and TV shows. 3. The Alabaster Coast is also home to several small villages. Including Atreta, which is known for its iconic cliffside arches. Atreta was a popular spot for artists in the 19th century. And it's still a popular tourist destination today. 4. The Alabaster Coast is a great place to go hiking. There are several trails that lead up to the cliffs. And the views from the top are amazing. You can also go kayaking or canoeing on the Alabaster Coast. The waters are calm and clear, and it's a great way to see the cliffs up close. If you're looking for something a little more adventurous, you can go rock climbing on the Alabaster Coast. There are several climbing spots along the coast. And the views from the top are incredible. The Alabaster Coast is a truly unique and beautiful place. The white cliffs are simply stunning, and the turquoise waters are crystal clear. If you're looking for a place to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of France, the Alabaster Coast is the perfect place for you. The best time to visit the Alabaster Coast is during the spring or fall, when the crowds are smaller and the weather is still mild. However, the coast is also beautiful in the summer, when the days are long and the sun is shining. There are several ways to get to the Alabaster Coast. You can fly into Paris and then take a train to the coast. Or, you can drive from Paris or any other major city in France. There are plenty of places to stay on the Alabaster Coast. From small bed and breakfasts to large hotels. There are also several campsites if you're looking for a more affordable option. Number 2 is the Gorges du Verdun. The Gorges du Verdun is a stunning canyon in the south of France. The Gorges du Verdun is known for its dramatic cliffs, turquoise waters and abundant wildlife and it's a popular spot for hiking, rock climbing, and whitewater rafting. Here are also the amazing fun facts and about the Gorges du Verdun. 1. The Gorges du Verdun is the deepest canyon in France. And the second deepest in Europe. The canyon is up to 700 meters, 2,300 feet, deep. And 25 kilometers, 15 miles, long. 2. The Verdun River, which flows through the canyon is one of the most popular whitewater rafting rivers in Europe. The river is rated class 4 and V, which means that it's suitable for experienced rafters only. 3. The Gorges du Verdun is home to a variety of wildlife, including eagles, hawks, deer, boars, and even bears. The canyon is also a popular spot for birdwatching. 4. The Gorges du Verdun is a popular spot for hiking. There are several trails that lead through the canyon, and the views from the top are amazing. 5. The Gorges du Verdun is also a popular spot for rock climbing. There are several climbing spots along the canyon. And the views from the top are incredible. The Gorges du Verdun is a truly unique and beautiful place. The cliffs are simply stunning, and the turquoise waters are crystal clear. If you're looking for a place to relax and enjoy the natural beauty of France, the Gorges du Verdun is the perfect place for you. The best time to visit the Gorges du Verdun is during the spring or fall when the crowds are smaller and the weather is still mild. However, the canyon is also beautiful in the summer, when the days are long and the sun is shining. There are several ways to get to the Gorges du Verdun. You can fly into Nice or Marseille and then take a bus or train to the canyon. Or, you can drive from Nice, Marseille, or any other major city in France. There are plenty of places to stay in the Gorges du Verdun. From small bed and breakfasts to large hotels. 
There are also several campsites if you're looking for a more affordable option. Here are some additional facts about the Gorges du Verdon that you might find interesting. The canyon was formed over millions of years by the Verdon River, which carved its way through the limestone bedrock. The name, Verdon, comes from the Latin word, verde, which means, green. This is because the canyon is often filled with a greenish-blue tint, from the reflection of the sky and the water. The Gorges du Verdon is a popular spot for base jumping, a dangerous sport in which people jump from high cliffs with parachutes. The canyon was featured in the 1978 James Bond film, Moonraker. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your trip to the Alabaster Coast and the Gorges du Verdon. Today, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel videos.